Okay, kund Kundalini, how to facilitate Kundalini, how you get pulled out of Kundalini. Um, and um, yeah, and my experiences with Kundalini. Wow, a lot of Kundalini stuff. Okay. Um, gosh, I could probably talk on that for a few hours, um, I'll, but I'll try and make it a couple of minutes. Um, so I was an I was an atheist uh, for the first thirty years. I was into my own thinking and into a lot of, you know, uh, selfishness. Uh, uh, I was in the stock market. How do you manipulate people to get money out of them? Uh, NLP, hypnosis, all that rubbish. Uh, you know how to uh, how to be clever in the ego. And um, that I was a, an addict, I was a food addict, I was a sex addict, and I was, um, you know, a workaholic as well, um, and dishonest and corrupt. And I got kidney failure, serves me right. And, um, and there was grace, I, 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 there was a deep surrender as my life was flashing before my eyes, like moral inventory before death. It was horrific moral inventory. You know, what a useless crap life. And, uh, you know, obviously there was a choice made to surrender to divinity. And I had the first uh, uh, profound spiritual experience beyond this world, a heavenly, timeless, thoughtless peace. You know, you wouldn't want to return to this horrible place experiencing that. Anyway, eventually I was pulled out of that experience um, and regretfully back into this world. And um, so that was, um, I guess that was a kind of a kundalini in a, in, a, in a way, not in the traditional way of the tingling up the spine. But that was the first one that, you know, my alignment is now with divinity, not longer with my ego, and set the whole parameter for the rest of my life. Um, and then, uh, you know, someone gave me a Hawkins DVD, I'm not by accident after that, and I had my next... Uh, traditional kundalini experience what normal people talk about kundalini are classically written in the literature i never had one before in that way but I, after if you read about kundalini it's exactly that i had a, I put the hawkins dv he started speaking i didn't know who he was and suddenly there was this massive tingling up my spine and bliss like euphoric bliss it was absolutely um incredible and it was kind of obvious i mean it wasn't like words but it's like he's your teacher you just had a near-death spiritual experience. Someone gives you a DVD of Hawkins and you have a Kundalini, which you've never had before. You don't know what it is, up your spine. It was like God saying, this is your guy. Uh, you got to meet him. Uh, I had no doubt. Ever since that day, Hawkins has been my teacher. And every single word he says, I take it 100% without any... Um, there's no blocks to everything he says. And um, yeah, I've had just endless miracles everything he said has led me true i recommend him i put my soul behind it as a spiritual teacher and you have to know that if you say that as a spiritual teacher that's a lot uh, uh, he's my teacher hawkins an avatar of the highest level i recommend him to everyone with everything i've got and um so um yeah and uh, so that was the second one and um, obviously hawkins talks a lot about kundalini and he talks about, you know, this the grace of the levels of consciousness. You know, things like, um, oh, I just love, you know, I used to, in the early days, I used to love, um, you know, you've got like those um, Bach, Bat Beethoven type, Gloria and Excelsis Dio. They're really, they're really fun uh, if you listen to those little bits where they're sort of singing with joy. Gloria and Excelsis Dio, all glory to God. I used to love finding those tracks on the on uh, you know on on the internet and just playing them and playing them over and over again. I'd get into these points of ecstasy and joy, and I knew Hawkins was giving you the answer. Like um, you know, the, the 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 some of the classical composers were were very spiritual, uh, God godly aligned, and they were singing the joy of God in their songs. You know that euphoric ecstasy that comes from devotion to God. So I was doing that a lot, and I realized yes. Uh, and I shared a lot in my videos. Um, I'll shut up soon. But um, there's a few more bits. Yeah, I'll read Hawkins' literature and find the highest calibrated mu music and spiritual teacher. Well, Hawkins is the highest spiritual teacher of recent years. And just listen to that stuff nonstop if you want your Kundalini. 
to be awake awakened and realize that this world if you don't calibrate stuff um uh, he gives the example of motown music a lot of this stuff that you enjoy your ego enjoys and is actually going to align you negatively so if you don't know what you're doing uh, you think you're enjoying it but it's going to put you in the wrong direction uh, and you don't know how bad that is so um i just trusted hawkins i listened to the music and the composers and it does you know listening to hawkins sometimes puts me into states of joy uh, it's just the no thoughtlessness uh, when he talks about it and um, music especially the glory in excelsis deo stuff you know from bach beethoven i think the ninth symphony with uh, beethoven yeah uh, absolutely ecstatic stuff so, so some of those things and just align myself with Hawkins and these beautiful pieces of joyful music that glorify God's name from godly and composers um, so what pulls you out I think this is really really important especially for advanced spiritual students immerse yourself in Hawkins work uh, I'm, I'll try and do another video another day Imm um You've got to understand if you're extremely devotional towards God, um, I'll use I'll use Jesus Christ and Buddha. Buddha said he was beset by demons, and Jesus Christ said Lucifer himself came for him. Uh, it means that if you're really really spiritually connected, uh, the big the big negative energies come for you. And um, I won't I won't go into it today, but. Um, the it's not a good <laughs> it's not a good thing so i'll I'll speak about it another day but um the they can do all kinds of things and set you up in all kinds of certain ways and trap you and seduce you in all kinds of ways as well because anyone who's a who's a devotional and very advanced wants to get very advanced and understand they've been around for thousands of years pulling down very advanced students uh it's in their best interest to pull down those who, they don't really you don't get the big guns after you if you just can't be interested in spiritual work but if you want to go far you need to immerse yourself in Hawkins I'll try and talk about it another day in greater detail because we're running out of time and um how do you do it I would stick to Hawkins if you want to avoid temptation stick to Hawkins non-stop 24 hours a day if you're an advanced spiritual t student He'll protect you, keep the music at the highest levels, like Alleluia, Robert Gass, and try and avoid anything that might potentially be temptation. Uh, uh, I, I always say avoid that stuff. And if you think you're being tested, just say no and run away. Uh, that's, that's the quick advice, but I'll try and do a longer video on that because we're running out of time and I'll stop there for today.